friends! Today we're going to talk about my writing plans for 2022. If you are new here, you might not know, but I am occasionally a writer. I'm not great at it. Okay. I have plans for this year and I don't know how well I'm going to stick to those, but I would like to discuss them with you and maybe just see what we can accomplish. If you have been here before, you know, or you may know, you probably know, because I've been talking about it a lot, that the month of January is going to be me with my face stuck to a computer screen uh, writing pretty much an entire book. Uh, I have to do a third draft of my French Grim Reaper story and I am trading that off with my friend Kate Cavanaugh for like a CP kind of deal where we're both gonna kind of look over each other's stories and kind of uh, give some critiques on those. And I have until January 31st, which means my entire first month of January for writing booked solid. Um, also any other free time working on that. What are my plans outside of that? Well, I need to talk to Kate A because I need to figure out what our like reading time is for that and like our getting those back to each other. We haven't discussed that part of it at all because we dumb, but uh, I need to talk to the Kate about that. I do plan to read Kate's feedback, implement some of that, and then also send it off to probably some troublemakers to get that figured out. Also, I'll link Kate's channel and the troublemakers channel in the description box down below for you if you would like to check them out. Because I went on this writing retreat with Katie, Devesha, Wallace, three of the four troublemakers, and they really helped me get over this hurdle for the Anku's Curse, I feel like, which is the actual title, not French Grim Reaper because it's not set in France, nor is there a Grim Reaper until the very end of the book, but I digress. The girls really helped me overcome this hurdle that I have, so I feel like I definitely want to once I implement some changes and implement the big changes that they gave me as well um, to overhaul this book that if they would like to, I would like them to check it out as well. Um, and then do some beta readers. So like my goal for 2022 is to have the Anku's Curse in a beta reader stage by the end of the year. That's crazy, but that's the goal. What are my other writing goals for the year? Um, my other writing goals are to build a writing habit. I would like to ideally write for one hour every weekday. That's the goal. Obviously, like if I have plans after work or if I'm hanging out with the bestie and the nephew, like that day would clearly be discounted. But any day where I'm just like coming home from work and making dinner and laying around my house, which never happens, but any day that I'm doing that, um, I would like to get at least an hour in during the week. Uh, because I need to set up myself for success and get some writing done. Okay, uh, so that's my goal for the year is actually to set up a writing schedule, a writing routine, a writing ritual, a thing, okay? So that's part of the plan. The other part of the plan is to pick my next book because oftentimes when you pitch a book, there's an opportunity to be like, and I also have this in my back pocket if you're interested. I want to have something in my back pocket with which to shiny in front of their face and be like, oh, shiny. <laughs> because of that, I need to pick something similar, but not the same. Um, definitely not a sequel because this book is a standalone. Could there be more from that world at some point? Probably, but it is a standalone. And so I need to pick something similar to that that would entice the same sort of reader. But I have like 85,000 projects, so who knows what would be the best for that. And I may do some like short blurb summaries for them and like send them all out to my friends and be like which match A to B or what do you think the most like this is like this. It may be a thing I do. I don't know. Um, that's my other writing goal is to figure out which book is going to be the the matching pair to the Anku's Curse aka French Grim Reaper and then write a full first draft of that book. Some books I have like 
sort of kind of first drafts of and some I have done about three quarters of a first draft and then walked away and some I've done like half a first draft and walked away and some have had multiple drafts and then the whole story is set up to be entirely rewritten but that's the adult fantasy so that's not going to be the match for that uh, but <laughs> I have a lot of projects and so I'm kind of just deciding what I think is going to be the best for that so that may be something I do like write a synopsis let some friends look over it, see what they think would be a good pair for that, and then write a complete first draft for that. That's legit my goals for the year. Like, get French Grim Reaper to beta readers by the end of the year, pick a backup book, a secondary book, a complimentary book, and write a full first draft of that. Build a writing routine. That's it. Like that's legit my writing plans for the year. If you watched my earlier video of what to expect in January, and if you haven't, I'll link it down below for you. Um, I'm pulling back on a lot of areas in my life, um, like a lot. I'm trying to be like only 25% Jessica in a lot of areas in my life. And writing is one where I have to do the opposite of. I need to give 75% more of myself to writing just to hit 25% of everything else because I do very little writing and I need to do more um, if I want to write. <laughs> Who knew? To be a writer, you must write things. So that's that's where I'm at. That's pretty much where I'm at for the year. So let me know in the comments below if you have any like writing specific goals for the year. If you have a writing goals video going up now or one planned for later, let me know. I would love to check it out. I like to see what we're all like gunning for for the year. That is all I have for today. I post reading, writing, book, and planner related videos a couple of times a week. If you don't want to miss anything I have going in the future, make sure you hit the notification bell and the subscribe button down below. And until then, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.